Billions of cicadas are set to appear this spring spring in a rare brood emergence. It's important to know how it will impact us here in Wisconsin. David Price, who has been in the pest management industry for more than 20 years, joins us now live. David, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. All right, let's start off about talking about the two broods expected to emerge. Can you share more specifics on the species? Uh, yeah, so actually uh, brood 13, which is the 17-year brood, is uh, the one that's going to impact the Madison area the most. Uh, there's about three species that are contained within this brood. Uh, so there'll be uh, several thousands <laughs> uh, to uh, millions that will be released or, or emerge at this time. Is that usually what we see when the cicadas come back, or that's just a lot more than past years and past seasons? Uh, so it, it will probably be close to the same. Um, just a little bit further south in Illinois is where there'll be two broods that will emerge at the same time, um, which will create billions of, of cicadas. How long can we expect these cicadas to stick around for? And, you know, what are some signs? That, I know we always talk about the loud noises that they make, um, but how do people know the cicadas are here? And then again, how long do they, should they expect them to stick around? Oh, sure. Yeah. So they should emerge somewhere around mid-May to mid-June. Um, and so uh, when they do emerge, you know, they're a rather healthy insect. So they're fairly large, about one to two inches. They'll have those bulgy red eyes. Uh, so you'll definitely know they're around, right? They make a lot of noise um, and they'll just be in abundance of them. And when it comes to protecting our property and our environment, what are some recommendations you have for homeowners? Yeah, so um, you want to delay planting any new trees or bushes uh, till about uh, July or August. Uh, you want to let that emergence happen um, and then I would plant uh, your bushes and trees at that time. Um, and any trees that you have that are four years or younger, you want to put a netting over them. And you want that to be at least a one centimeter or less in the mesh type uh, in order to protect them from the female cicada making the grooves in the branches and laying her eggs. So you said that was for a plant of four years or younger. Do cicadas usually tend to go for these younger plants? Uh, no, they'll they'll take advantage of any plant or, or any trees or bushes, uh, but they particularly prefer like oak and maple, fruit trees, cherry trees. Uh, but they'll they'll land and lay those eggs wherever they possibly can. All right, David. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll have all of this information up on our website later tonight, WKOW.com. So anybody watching can go ahead and check that out. Thank you again, David. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you.